All right, hey everyone. This is uh, going to uh, my last video got cut short. Uh, well, I was in transition of going into the first week of Church and its Doctrines and the discussion board there. So uh, basically, uh, if you open up your discussion board for week one, you're going to see a series of questions. What does the average person today believe about God? On what do they base their ideas? Can God's existence be proven by reason? And what relevance does the doctrine of the Trinity have today? How would you explain it to the average person? Now, your reading is going to have uh, a lot of uh, impact, uh, hopefully, on your answers here. So, your first post, uh, I'm expecting you to have started and done some of your reading, um, but I'm not expecting it to be a perfect post. Uh, I'm actually expecting that as the week goes on uh, and you finish your reading, you're going to continue thinking through things, you're going to read what other people are writing, and you're going to add to and clarify and maybe completely uh, switch some of your, your initial thoughts there. So don't feel the pressure that you have to do all the reading before making your initial post. However, I don't want you just to go into it blind and just off the top of your head rattle something off just randomly. Um, but don't have the pressure to feel like you have a perfect answer. You're going to actually be forced to um, you know, progress in, in, in how you're giving answers to these questions. Also, some of these questions are kind of going to be um, open to you giving some context. So, what does the average person today believe about God? Is that supposed to be referring to Western American uh, church culture? Uh, even in America, we've got numerous different church uh, contexts and cultures and that sort of thing. Uh, is it a worldwide question? Is it just referring to you know evangelical, Protestant, suburban, upper middle class, mega church culture? Uh, you need to define it on what you're talking about and maybe clarify some of your comments, uh, maybe what your experience is in terms of when you say what the average person today believes about God, what do you mean by that? Who are you talking about? And uh, what can you confidently speak into? Does that make sense? So do that when you answer questions and, uh, and go from there. So that's week one in terms of the discussion board. I hope you guys enjoy that. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. And then in terms of uh, uh, the quiz, let me go and uh, give you an idea the type of questions that you you're gonna have uh with the with week one um like i said there's 25 questions every week um it's gonna be uh multiple choice um on all the questions i think we we have uh sometimes you have a fill in the blank or uh true false false not false false <laughs> Uh, but mostly you're going to have uh, multiple choice type questions. So to give you an idea um, of the type of question, um, something related to theological concepts. Uh, theology is the study of, and then I may have something like uh, a, a, a form of, of, uh, of a definition there. So uh, another question, theology is the study of a creedal system as developed by, I'm not going to give you the rest of the question, but that's the type of sentence that it would be. Um, another one would be select three of the following that are a part of uh, the methodology of a biblical theology. That would be another type of question. I'm giving you some freebies here. Um, and then the word blank means that which is... So that's one of the, I think, two this week that are fill in the blank. So most of the stuff as you're, as you're kind of studying and retaining information uh, is going to be, you're going to just need to be familiar with it because it's multiple choice. Um, something else in 1919, modern theology took a new turn when blank this person, and then there's a multiple choice option of who they were, trained in a certain type of theology and then rejected it. Uh, and there's some more to the question, but that's the type of question you're going to have there. Um, and then uh, just defining terms. So you, when you see a key term, you're going to make sure you're familiar with that and recognize the definition with that. Um, there's going to be a few key passages um, that are attached to certain types of, uh, of doctrine. So be sure to uh, take note of those. And uh, yeah, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll get a feel for it as we go. Um, and how these quizzes work, but uh, you know they they uh, 
I wouldn't say they're easy, but as opposed to previous courses where there's only like five or ten questions, this has 25 every week. So there's uh, you know some flexibility to get some wrong and still do okay uh, on the quizzes, but you're going to want to be sure to uh, do the reading, listen to the lectures before the quizzes, and let me know how it goes. All right, look forward to interacting with you guys this term, and uh, many blessings as you start. All right, I'm out.